Zero factorial equals one never made any sense until now. First way to understand this is through the multiplication method. How do we write any factorial, say four factorial? We write it as four times, three times, two times one. Then three factorial as three times, two times one, and one factorial as simply one. But we can also write this in a shorter way. What do you think this will be? Yes, right. It is three factorial. So four factorial is four times three factorial. In the same way, three factorial is three times two factorial. Two factorial is two times one factorial. And one factorial is one times, yes, correct. It will be one times zero factorial. But look here. We have one factorial as one. So for this equation to be true, zero factorial has to be one. Second way to understand this is through the division method. What is two raised to power one? It is two. Then two raised to power two is four. Then two raised to power three is eight. And two raised to power four is 16. Now, if we go in the reverse direction, we divide instead of multiply. So 2 to the 4th or 16 divided by 2 is 2 cube, or 8. Then 2 cube, or 8, divided by 2 is 2 square, or 4. Then 2 squared, or 4, divided by 2 is 2 to the 1, or simply 2. So if we keep going back like this, then 2 to the 1 or 2 divided by 2 will be 2 to the 0 or 1, right? In the same way, let's apply this idea to factorials. We know that 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial is 2 times 3 or 6, then 4 factorial is 6 times 4 or 24. Now, let us go in the reverse direction. Divide this by 4, we get 3 factorial, which is 6. Then divide this by 3, we get 2 factorial, which is 2. And then divide this by 2, we get 1 factorial, which is 1. So what if we go one more step backward and divide this by one? Yes, right. We get zero factorial, which will be one over one or one. Third way to understand this is through the conceptual method. It is how we define the idea of a factorial. Factorial of any number tells us in how many ways we can arrange that many objects in a line. For example, if we have three different letters A, B, C, then we can arrange them in six different ways, like this. That's why 3 factorial is 6. If we have two letters A, B, we can arrange them in two different ways, like this. So 2 factorial is 2. And if we have one letter A, there's only one way to arrange it. So 1 factorial is 1. Now think about this. How many ways can we arrange zero objects? That sounds strange, right? but there is still exactly one way to do nothing. That one way is the empty arrangement. So, by this definition, zero factorial must be one. Finally, the fourth way to understand this is, well, not everything in math makes sense, so just accept that zero factorial is one and move on before your brain starts to hurt. No, not so good.